Hi, this is Jeff Hillier with Dixie RV Superstores. I'm here today to tell you a little bit about Jayco's high-end Class C, the Greyhawk. Now the Greyhawk is available both with full paint and in the high gloss exterior finish we have here behind us. We're going to look inside today at this floor plan as well as one of the other floor plans we have in the lot and show you some of the benefits of what Jayco's Greyhawk has to offer. One thing I want to start with though is that Jayco is the only Class C manufacturer out there that's offering a full two-year warranty on their product. That's two years on their regular full warranty that everyone else is doing one, Jayco's doing two. What that means to you? Better quality. No one's going to give you a longer warranty without making sure the quality is better to start with. They wouldn't be able to afford to. So Jayco's doing it. They're putting their money where their mouth is and they're showing you a two-year warranty on their product. I'll show you some of the benefits you get in the construction as well. First thing I want to tell you about is the full fiberglass front cap. Now this fiberglass cap, a lot of manufacturers do a little bit small one in the very front of the coach. You'll notice this one comes all the way back to the actual body of the coach as well as the wing wall here is also a full fiberglass cap. What this does is it cuts down on the potential leaks on this coach. Where a lot of the products will have a seam here or a little small piece, that's a place that water is going to be able to get into the coach sooner or later. When you're driving down the road in a rainstorm, it's like taking a 70 mile per hour pressure washer and hitting the front of your motorhome. Well, with Jayco's design, you can see the water runs past the seam. So the water is not gonna have much of a chance of getting inside the coach and it greatly reduces the possibility. The front end is the number one leak place we have problems with on Class C motorhomes. Additionally, we do a lot of things like putting the backup camera and the side view cameras. They're built into the mirrors instead of mounted on the side of the coach. We have a fiberglass uh, step instead of the ugly little aluminum steps you've seen a lot. And the double entry step as well as a single. You'll also notice a push button entry. So instead of having to keep your key with you all the times, you have a code, you can enter it in and unlock your door to be able to get access to the coach. Flush mount windows so you don't have to worry about the ugly gaskets coming off. Uh, you also can jousty out the windows so that you can leave them out and not worry about a rainstorm this coming. You'll notice outside speakers mounted as well as an electric awning. And this is a tankless water heater. So when your wife is showering, you don't have to worry about running out of hot water which we all know that's not a great way to start the day. Lots of storage, including the big pass-through in the back. Now this storage, you can notice, one of the benefits you're gonna see is that you get an insulated door, and on this particular floor plan, we have a storage here. There's a slide on the other side, so this one's not passed through, but you have a little flip-down shelf there to give you extra storage on it. And the other floor plan we'll look at will have that pass-through. We do have the receiver hitch here as well as the backup camera. If you notice, it's built into the tail light as opposed to having a big hanging exterior camera that can get caught up on a tree or something like that when you're backing in. Slide, we have a bed slide back here as well as the couch dinette slide. Outside, hot and cold water shower. Uh, the dump stations, low point water drains, all that on the outside of the coach. We do also have a built-in backup flush, black tank flush on every Jayco Greyhawk we carry. Now coming back around to the front of the coach again, you'll notice that the wing, the front cap is still a very aerodynamic front. We also use the larger Class A style clearance lights, not the little small travel trailer. That's going to be better seal, better protection. And again, on a Class C, that's really important to keep the water leak intrusion down. Let's head inside and we'll look at a couple of the things there. On the inside of the Jayco Greyhawk, you're going to find a lot of quality built into the unit. One thing you'll see is Corian countertops with a tile backsplash is going to be standard on all the products we carry. As well as the ultra leather furniture, the power front seat, something you don't find in a lot of Class C's. You'll also notice that it's a touch screen backup camera and uh, has pre-programmed with a GPS as well, so you get that extra option there. Uh, your cabinets are all mortise and tenon cabinets in the front, screwed and glued cabinets for the housing on there, so you're getting a nice solid cabinet that is supported into the wall, so you don't have to worry about it. Soft touch leather ceiling, speakers mounted into the ceiling as well. Uh, a lot of really nice features in there. The floor is going to be all tile in the living area, but you still get carpet in the bedroom. And a lot of manufacturers have cut that out. It's a little cheaper just to put the tile throughout or the, the linoleum throughout. But the carpet in the bedroom, I know when I wake up in the morning, I want to be able to step down on carpet before I put my slippers on and get through the rest of the coach. So it kind of keeps you from having that cold foot shock when you step out of bed. You'll also notice that instead of just a standard old square wall, they've curved the wall. 
just a little aesthetics to make it look a little nicer and a little smoother. Uh, the table is a dream style dinette, so you don't have the legs in the way, you just have the release and the table can push straight down. Um, so a nice little feature there that certainly does make it easier to make the bed out. Drawers, instead of just having to lift up the dinettes to get out, so the drawers pull out. And all the drawers in the coach are going to have full, bearing, full ball bearing extension guides on there. Uh, we have not only a microwave, and it is a residential size, most of the Class C's have that little dinky microwave. Residential side microwave with an oven. Uh, again, a lot of manufacturers are cutting out that oven to save money. We're not doing it. Refrigerator is the larger eight cubic foot refrigerator instead of a six cubic foot. And it does have the wood panels to match the coach. It does have a nice size pantry as well and good storage there. Now as we come back to the back, you'll notice the shower is a full tub surround shower. So you do have uh, a surround and it does give you a little bit of a lift if you want to bathe the kids in there. Have the clothes hanging bar so if we have wet clothes we can do it. Nice size bathroom in here with a uh, foot flush toilet you don't have to worry about and nice medicine cabinets. And then in the bed we do have the curved corner bed so it makes it a little nicer look. Uh, nice upholstery and everything in there and good bedspreads and finishing. Big storage back there. The TV not only has a, a built-in TV in the bedroom, but it lifts up so you can access that storage and we don't waste that space. And then the double closet plus all the drawers. So lots of storage in this motorhome. Now this is the 29MV floor plan. We're going to take a look of, right now at another floor plan just to give you a little idea of the differences. But I just want you to notice as we walk out just a couple of the things, the uh, quick cool feature on the air conditioner rooftops, all the rest of the vents are ducted so you can either duct them or dump all the AC in the living area so when you're having that hot day and a lot of people are in and out of the coach you can still keep the front area of the coach cool uh, and notice too that you do have a step down the front that means this is a basement style motorhome so it is raised up and you do have the basement storage compartment as opposed to some that are a little bit lower but you don't get that extra storage in the basement it also means your tanks are enclosed in there uh, not exposed out which is going to help you when you're traveling up north so let's go take a look at that other floor plan and we'll walk through and see a couple things on the way out one thing I almost forgot to mention is the MCD shades. You do have the sheer shade as well as the night shade that can pull down. Uh, and then they do have the soft for track as well, so you don't have to worry about that flapping. But again, that's a high-end Class A feature, not a typical thing you find in a Class C motorhome. But we have that with the nice big jealousy windows to give you some good airflow, but again, no worry about water leaks. It's also a fantastic fan with the temperature control in the uh, rear of the coach, so you can get good flow. So if you go park it, go in the campground for a day, or uh, say you go to Disney World for the day and you're gonna be in at a park and not be able to get to the coach, you can leave your windows open, have a max air vent on your fan, and have that airflow going through the coach to keep it from getting so hot. So when you show back up after a long day at the park, your motorhome's not 150 degrees inside, which is never any fun. Let's go look at that other floor plan now. So we're now in the 31DS floor plan. So this is a different floor plan, very similar to some of the other manufacturers out there, but Jayco's added a couple of really nice touches. Again, eight cubic foot refrigerator instead of the, the smaller six cubic foot you typically find. You'll see the lighter color leather in this one. Uh, so that's a nice little touch. You get to see both interiors. What I really like about this is uh, in addition to the coin countertop and the nice pantry, you do have the bathroom that's accessible both from the bedroom and the side. What's different is back here in the back. Where most of the floor plans that are built like this, you have a bed turned sideways. This has a traditional north-south bed, which makes it, it gives you the ability to walk around it still when they're going down the road, and your closet slides out this side. The other real big plus it gives you is that huge outside storage that you can see, and this gives you not only a really wide, really big storage, but because it's flush with the bottom of the compartment door, you could actually put a Class A diesel pusher style slide tray if you would like to in this floor plan. Something I really personally like. It really makes it a lot more convenient to get to your stuff and be able to slide that out. Again, MCD shades throughout this coach as well as a large shower. Nice bathroom with the curved glass shower doors. Linen storage in here. So a great floor plan. Now one thing that's really nice we're doing for all of our Greyhawks in stock, the 29ME, the 29MV, and the 31DS, we have a special sale right now for $79,995. That's $79,995 plus your tax and license. It's a price you're not going to find anywhere else in the country. If you find a better price, let me know and I'll see what I can do to match it or beat it for you. This is one thing I want you to know though, at Dixie RV, we're here helping you retire one weekend at a time.
Thank <laughs> you.